Hello my fellow Degenerates Cardboard Enthusiasts, it's me Terry Tive and I just want to talk about something really quick about TCG Marketplace and if you are, this is more, mainly if you are, are a seller and what I'm talking about is lately if you see my, video, my past videos I've been more active in selling cards instead of buying cards so as a seller so yesterday recently I, got, I sold my Storm Striders for around $129 like okay let me go list it up and I saw on the lowest listing around here it went to let's say $220 I was like whoa 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 what happened so I checked the Arcana the Storm Strider listing and the lowest listing I saw at that time was around $221 okay so I decided you know what I'll put it for $220 and I'll leave it there but as the minute went by, and this is what I'm talking about, where you're just so reactive and timid, we got people were underbidding each other. With as the minute went by, let's just say this guy right here, Pony Express, right, you know, investment, he had it for like two eighteen, and he was competing for it with Tenacity, or I forgot who was it, but I have Pony Express is one I looked at the most. He kept competing as the minute went by. He goes, okay, two eighteen, okay, right, two seventeen, all right, two sixteen, all right, two fifty. And he kept going lower, lower, and there was no time for even seller to even go. I mean, buyers to go in to buy these things, and then so they're just constantly competing, lowering each other's prices without, without even letting the market, like situation so. So it is a good thing and a bad thing. Good thing is okay, you're uh, you're you're staying on top of things, but it's a bad thing is you haven't let the buyers come in to see the prices yet. May yes, it got bought out, and then you're trying to strike it strike while the iron's hot but you're competing yourself uh, you're competing with other um, sellers from little petty stuff like trying to drop the price by pennies little by little little by little but even giving it some time right my listing is right here two hundred and twenty dollars all of a sudden look at it. with less than a day look how much it dropped by and this guy right here is Pony Express I'm not saying anything he's a bad or Timmy or anything but he as you can see has more sales than I do but he just penny penny. I bet you if somebody drops it down to two oh three. He's gonna drop down uh, at two hundred. So as a buyer, there is you can see that uh, sellers are fighting each other for these things. So as a buyer, you could take a step back and say, hey, let's just watch how far this uh, this these sellers will continue to fight. So maybe it'll even drop down back to one hundred thirty dollars, one hundred twenty dollars. Uh, if you keep letting this thing ride, and they start to play with their emotions, like, no, I gotta get lower, I gotta get lower. Just chill, relax, just like how Rudy say. Sometimes you just gotta be a carrot. I kept mine at 220. Maybe in a few days, if it doesn't, end, uh, then I'll drop it. But I'm not gonna be constantly on my computer watching. Same thing with the Skull Moon Cross Wrap. All right, look there. Somebody cleared it out, and it went from uh, 75, 72, 75 dollars to like 140 something dollars. And you can see, like they kept dropping. The last sold right here, 149 dollars right here. And they kept going up, so it hit 140, and now one drop to 198. But you can see they're penny, they're penny pinching each other over here. And like I said, just let time come back within within a week. If you're not in a rush to sell, I am sitting on some inventory stock. I'm not gonna rush to like, oh, I got a penny pinch and everything. If I put it down, somebody beats it, fine. Beats it, I'll come back in about a week, and uh, and I'll list it wherever the market price goes. But other other way, you, you just gotta relax. You can't be so on top of things. It is it's a it it's a bad thing too if you just constantly on it. It takes over your life. Relax. This is the beauty of TCG play. Yes, they call, charge a premium on the price, fifteen percent. But the convenience that it comes, you just leave it there and just go about your day and everything. That's all I got for you today. And uh, I hope you continue be, uh, being a uh, degenerate cardboard enthusiast. See you guys. Peace.